So in this video, we're going to talk about parabolas. So I have a bunch of definitions here for you. Make sure uh, you get these down. These are going to be useful vocabulary for us for the course of the video. So a parabola is the set of all points that is equidistant from a fixed line called the directrix and a fixed point called the focus. You can see on this little diagram, I've sketched the fixed line as a dotted line, uh, x equals negative p, uh, the parabola in a solid black line, and then the focus is a point p0. Um, on the x-axis. We say the distance between the vertex and the focus is called the focal length, and that focal length is equal to p. The axis of symmetry of a parabola is the line passing through the focus and perpendicular to the directrix. So the axis of symmetry would be this right here, would be the x-axis, basically. Um, and then we have the vertex, which is the intersection of the parabola and the axis of symmetry. So the vertex is here as a dot. And then finally, we have the lattice rectum. The lattice rectum is a line segment that passes through the focus, is parallel to the directrix, and has endpoints on the parabola. And the length of the lattice rectum is always 4p. So if I drew the lattice rectum on this parabola, parabola it would look like this here. And it has endpoints right here and right here. And this length is always 4p. And we can use the lattice rectum to help us get a more accurate drawing of our parabola. Okay, so these are all the vocab uh, terms, and now we're going to go on to the math. So pause the video if you need to get these down. Okay, so the standard form of a parabola, there are two, depending on whether the parabola's axis of symmetry is horizontal or vertical. Uh, the standard forms are either y squared equals 4 p x. Um, of course, if you have this not centered at the origin, uh, if it's centered at hk, then it would be y minus k squared equals 4p x minus h. And if you have a problem like this, this means that uh, with the, the y squared uh, term and the x is a linear term, then that means that the focus uh, is on or parallel to um, the x-axis. So the, uh, why don't we say instead that the axis of symmetry uh, is parallel to the x-axis. Could lie right on it, right? In the First equation up here, y squared equals 4px. Um, the center is the origin, so the axis of symmetry is the x-axis. Then, of course, you could have the x squared, uh, the x term be squared and the y term be linear. So x squared equals 4py. If you have this uh, that's not centered at the origin, then this equation would be x minus h squared equals 4py minus k. And in this case, the axis of symmetry is parallel to the x-axis, uh, the y-axis, sorry. Okay, so these are the two different um, standard graphing forms of a parabola. So let's go ahead and see if we can try to graph these, graph some parabolas. Let's say um, I have y squared equals 12x. I would like to find the focus in the directrix, and I would like to graph it. So I know that the standard form of my equation here, y squared equals 4px, tells me that p is equal to 12 divided by 4, which is 3. So my focal length here is going to be 3. Because I have y minus 0 and x minus 0, I know that my center, my um, vertex of my parabola, is going to be located at the origin. So I have my vertex is going to be here. My focal length, right, my focus is going to be 3 to the right because this term is positive. If this term were negative, then it would be 3 to the left instead. Okay, so that's that's a pretty important thing that we didn't mention previously. Um, so if this term is positive, I have positive 12x. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, focus, and 1, 2, 3, directrix. 
Uh, and then I'm going to also get two more points in this parabola using the lattice rectum. So I know that one point on the parabola is going to be, uh, the lattice rectum has a length of 4p, right? Which means that there's going to be a point um, that is 2p above and 2p below the focus. So 2p, if p is 3, 2p is 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to have a point here. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to have a point here. And then I can draw my parabola. Ooh, that was kind of bad. Let's try this. And there we go. And that's my parabola. And I'm making sure, as always, you label stuff. So this line, right, is x equals negative 3. This is my focus, uh, and this point is 3, 0. And then I know these points are 3, 6, and 3, negative 6. Okay. Um, so that's one problem. Uh, let's do another one, just because these ones are pretty quick and easy. So let's uh, say now I have... Um, x squared equals negative 8y. So in this case, uh, I know that I know a couple things. First, I have an x squared term, which means my axis of symmetry is going to be vertical. So my parabola is either going to open up or down. The negative sign here tells me that it's actually going to open down instead of up. So once again, this parabola is centered at the origin. I shouldn't say centered. Its vertex is at the origin. Uh, my focal length p is going to be equal to 2 here, because 8, div uh, 8 divided by 4 is 2. And so now I can go ahead and say, okay, well, my focal length is 2. It's going to open down. So 1, 2, I have a focus here. 1, 2, I have a directrix here. Sorry about that. There we go. Uh, and then I can also do the two points in my lattice rectum. So lattice rectum, uh, we're going to have... 2p to the right and 2p to the left. So that means that I should have um, 2p is going to be 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to have a point here. 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to have a point here. And now I can sketch. And sketch the other side. All right. And I have my parabola. So that's how you uh, can go ahead and you can um, take an equation of a parabola and locate its focus, its directrix, and then go ahead and graph it. Thanks for watching.